Hi, I'm John's girlfriend, and uh, my name is Renee. And uh, in my time with John, I've learned a lot about brain cancer, and I've learned a lot about um, neurology and a lot about medicine. I'm an English major, so um, took a couple biology classes, always liked them. But um, this has really been applicable, um, so I've learned a lot. So I want to share something today about what something I've learned along the way, and it's something called anogenesis. It's a process that was discovered or began being discovered in the 60s on a Navy ship, uh, had completely nothing to do with cancer, it became a revolutionary um, innovation in cancer treatment. And what happened was there was a doctor named Dr. Folkman, and he was doing experiments on how to keep blood preserved on ships for long periods of time. So he was messing around with a rabbit thyroid and a mouse. I don't know, really know they're scientists. But uh, he discovered that when he was injecting blood into the thyroid, the blood didn't survive. But when he injected it in the mouse, who was a living, breathing mouse, the, the blood took off and it was able to be preserved and grow and regenerate. And then he started kind of messing around with cancer cells. And what he discovered that is if he was um, dealing with cancer cells in the mouse, the living mouse, that the, two, the cancer would take off and it would metastasize. While in the thyroid, it wouldn't. Uh, so he started looking at um, the connection or relationship between vessels, blood vessels, and cancer growth. And he found a direct correlation that when we all have cancer, right? We all have cells that want to go off and want to go crazy. What happens when you get cancer is those, um, your, the cancer cells start growing a life force of them, their own. It's like an alien being being in your body. Uh, so it starts growing these, um, what, it, you know, it's life source, these capillaries. And this is a recent development because of Dr. Folkman's research, and he named it angiogenesis. But anio means vessels and genesis means birth. Um, so they started experimenting with this and they started coming up with different um, ways to then address the growth of the vessels. Um, and they came up with um, an angiostatin, which is broke based on a protein in a mouse. Um, and that eventually became something called Avastin. And what John's gonna be going on, and he's been on in the past uh, since April, is something called Avastin. And Avastin is a revolutionary um, chemotherapy. It's not really a chemotherapy uh, in the traditional sense because in the, before angiogenesis was discovered, all treatments for cancer dealt with the tumor directly, um, dealt with the enemy itself. If you, and you can't escape the, uh, the metaphor of uh, cancer as a battle. Um, and, but the, the way we used to fight the battle and the way we still do, um, is that we go directly at the tumor. But what angiogenesis has allowed um, cancer researchers to look at is the possibility of coming up with chemical, a chemical way to address uh, cancer um, life force. Um, so Avastin is a medicine based on the research on angiogenesis that actually cuts the blood supply off to the um, tumor. And it was passed in the, by the FDA in like 2007 and you've heard some things maybe if you do research like this on breast cancer recently it's been taken off the market for breast cancer and that's from what I understand because when the researchers were doing um, they were trying to get their numbers they just gave too high of numbers um, and so they haven't met those numbers although it has been successful uh, with brain cancer Avastin is still a medicine that's used for brain cancer. It's also used for um, uh, eye um, blindness in eyes, but, um, but it's used in brain cancer, and it's one of the few uh, medicines and treatments that's been really, really successful with um, high, what is it, a, a high stage brain cancer. Um, there hasn't been a lot of chemotherapies that have been successful, so, but Avastin is, um, is the medicine. It's the first of the medicines um, or one of the first medicines based on, on angiogenesis, and they've had some success with um, brain cancer, in fact, quite a bit, um, in a cancer that hasn't had a lot of success. So that's what John is gonna be going on in the next couple weeks. 
again. He was on it from April to September and then um, was taken off of it because it makes you bleed. And John had a hemorrhage, so that was going to make him bleed him more. So they had to pull him off of it. Now they're going to put him back on Avastin here at the end of January. And uh, along with another chemotherapy, something called carboplatin. So we'll keep you posted, but that's a little background on um, what's going on in um, the brain cancer world. And I'm your residential neurologist, and I only do surgeries on Saturday, but 